Hi, my name is Dan. I'm a video game programmer from Chicago. This is my project. It is called the Creeper Bot. It is a hacked RC car from my youth. Uh, I ripped it out and used uh, an Arduino microcontroller to con control all of the electronics. Um, the basic setup is that I have a laptop running here. It's running a program, a C++ program, uh, and it's sending uh, out commands wirelessly through uh, Bluetooth. There's a Bluetooth modem right here on the breadboard, which is receiving the commands from the laptop, and the laptop is reading in input from an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so I have a, a few different controls mapped to these functions, uh, mapped to the controller, uh, which uh, gets processed on the laptop and then sent over to the car. Uh, I'll show those controls off right now. The uh, first control is going forward, so I just hit the right trigger to go forward, and you see the back back, back wheels move. It's uh, uh, variable, so you're able to get a slower speed when you hold down the trigger a little bit, and then fast speed when you hold down. And then if I want to go uh, in reverse, it's the left trigger, left trigger over here. And then if I want to go left and right. Uh, hit hit the left stick, left and right, and there you go with that. Uh, I also rigged up a little siren in there, it's just a little loudspeaker. Um, so when I hit the A button, it does a very annoying sound. Um, and then also a uh, new uh, addition to the uh, project is this uh, camera right here, which is actually uh, transmitting wirelessly to the laptop which goes here and then it's hooked up to the monitor so you can see it on the monitor there it's uh, wirelessly, wirelessly transmitting the video signal um, and the cool part about this is that I uh, am able to control it uh, also using the Xbox 360 controller what I did is I have the uh, when you move left and right on the right stick it's panning so when I push to the right it pans to the right when I push to the left it pans to the left and then if I want to go up and down I just hit up and down and so you see there, right there. And I'll get the video screen in so you get the whole effect there. There's my hand. Um, it's definitely uh, pretty cool. And then uh, now I'm going to demonstrate um, the car moving and then um, being driven, uh, you know, by the uh, through the monitor watching the camera. So I got the car over there in my living room. And I'm basically going to use it to sneak up on the dog. I'm using the, the camera tilt there. I can look uh, right. There's my TV. Look left. Uh, there's the window and the couch and all that. And I also uh, made a feature where I can just reset the camera. So when I hit the L1 button, it'll reset the camera. So it just resets it to its uh, default location. There we go. Point it there. I'm going to try to scare the dog a little bit, so I'm going to go up to the maybe put, put on the alarm. And drive. Here's the car just going around my uh, family room here. My dog definitely hates the car. Um, but it goes pretty. It goes pretty good. And you can make it go real slow uh, just by slowly uh, pulling, pushing on the trigger, or real fast. And um, I don't know if you can see the camera, but yeah, I can make the ca uh, camera move around like that. Turn on the alarm. Move the camera back to its own original position. And then this is just to show off the camera pan and tilt again. And I can uh, hit the reset button. It goes like that. And pushing down the controller so it's back and off. And then the forward controller. And then I, you know.
So you really have the possibility to drive it just by looking at the computer screen, which is a really a cool part of the, about the project. And then uh, you know you're kind of able to spy and use the camera to uh, pan and tilt and uh, check out uh, different rooms. And uh, yeah, so definitely a really fun project to work on. And I just slammed it into the copy table there. So just to conclude, this is the Creeper Bot, and I am hoping to post um, the source code and so maybe some more detailed videos on how each of the components work uh, on a web blog. Uh, thanks for watching.